Where do you think Tahu will have gone? I fought alongside Tahu in the first Makuta War. He's strong, brave, but incredibly headstrong. Hardly ever thinks ahead before running into a fight. His only love is for his homeland. You think he's gone back to Takoro? Mm, that's my best guess. He'll probably be going by the old paths, not the new ones that were erected after he died. Yeah, the old paths take twice as long to get there. Why don't we just use the new road and get to Takoro before he does? We could be there waiting for him. We don't even know for sure if that's where he's going. But we need to follow his trail to make sure that... Did you hear that? I know that sound. What is it? It's heading back the way we came. What is? I'm gonna check this out. You hear anything else? Be ready. Ready to what? Ready to run. Do you think Leiwo is right? Do you think we'll be able to defeat Makuta without Sakura's Atoa? The odds are slightly less in our favor. One thing's for sure though. We won't have a chance unless we get Tahu and Kopaka back. Look! What is it? Look at this trail here. Look familiar? Mata Nui. Is that what I think it is? No mistaking it. Rakshi. <gasps> Rakshi. What's a Rakshi? Your worst nightmare. Waste in the Makuta? Okay, I take that back. The second worst nightmare. There were only six last time. We killed them all. Now the Makuta's back. He must have made more. That's really not good. No. The real question is how many Rakshi are there this time? The trucks are leading right to Gakoro. What should we do? It's Toa's duty to protect them, Torin. We must warn the village. About Tahu and Kilpaka. If they saw the Rakshi's trail, they would surely follow it. Do you remember me, Takua? Of course I do. You helped us yesterday bring the Toa back. But do you remember? You and me. We are different, Takua. You have to know that. Haven't you ever wondered why you were the only Toa in history who could go from being Toa into being a Matoran? Hasn't it ever crossed your mind that you're not normal? I guess. Think back, Takua. Think back as far as you can. The furthest back I can remember was... The beginning of the Makuta War. I woke up on the beach outside Takaro and couldn't remember a thing. Worst things are coming our way, Takaro. What you know may be the key of our survival, but you have to remember it. What am I supposed to remember? That you are not normal. <sighs> what does this have to do with anything right now? Everything. I don't understand. Where is it? Gakoro was here, wasn't it? It was. But where'd it go? The speaker just disappeared. It didn't disappear. It sank. What? It's the only explanation. What happens to all the Matoran? Yeah, Matoran can't drown, can they? I wish that were true. But it's not. Now what? We find the other Toa. What about the lives of the Matoran who lived in the city? They shall be avenged when Makuta is dead.
So, Nupar, what exactly is this thing? That's the monument we built to honor the warriors who gave their lives in the first Makuta War. This is an interesting place to build it, on a moving platform that was designed for defense. Taroga felt that we had no more enemies, no further threats. They thought building this monument on the defense platform would be a good way of putting the past behind us. I don't mean to sound like a pessimist, but I've got a feeling that we're never really going to live in a time of peace. I'm starting to feel that myself. Jongu, are you just going to sit there all day or are you going to do anything useful? Well, what else do we have to do? The good told us to stay here in case the other tie came back. So far none of them have, so I'm just sitting here until they do. Kangu's right, Naparu. All we can do at this point is wait. I wonder if they'll come back. Well, Gally is pretty good at persuasion. She'll be able to get him back. Guys, look! Onua, you're back! Yeah, but not because I want to be back. I knew you'd see reason. This doesn't mean I've forgiven you for killing me. We've been over this, brother. I didn't have any control of myself when it happened. <laughs> and I'm supposed to believe that. Gally and Liwa both did. Why do you have such a hard time believing me? I don't like where this is heading. Well... When you get killed by your own brother, it's hard to ever trust him again. You're a traitor, Pohatu. I would rather face a thousand rock shitties alone than fight alongside you again. Is that what you really think, Onua? Yeah, it is. Me and Gali would be thinking that too if they were honest. I don't believe that. <laughs> you're crazy. No, you're the one who's lost what little mind you had to begin with. Bring it on, fool! We're gonna kill each other. What can we do about it? You ain't gonna cause any more trouble for me. Oh no, I was possessed. I had no control of myself. You shouldn't have let yourself be influenced in the first place. You were always weak, Poatu. You're blinded by a mistake I made. A mistake? You're calling murder? A mistake, you son of a bull rock? That does it. You're asking for it. <laughs> You think that's gonna stop me? I'm not trying to stop you. I'm trying to get it through your thick skull that I never meant to kill you. Now, buddy! I should have known it would come to this. You two have been behaving like small children fighting over a cookie. Uh, well, Nua started it. You further prove my point. Yeah, well, there's nothing you can say that'll make me forgive that traitor, golly. What happened in the past has happened, Onua. You can't change it. It's time to put the past behind us. The future of our world depends on us staying together. Only when we are united, we are strong. We are weak when we are divided. The Makuta uses our dysfunctionality against us. He wants to divide us because he knows we cannot defeat him unless we remain a team. Leva, we need to find Tahu and Kopaka. You take Pahatu with you and I'll take Onua. Return here if you find one of them. <laughs>